Hello everybody and welcome to uh, t the top plays for the PSN week one and uh, yeah week one had some really good battle battles and there were some hard plays to decide and there was even one battle that really didn't have no top plays came from so you're gonna be seeing a lot of repeats of battles but without further ado uh, let's get right into it. So, our first battle, is, or our first top play is from the uh, Warren Park Whale Lords versus the Toronto Star Raptors. Uh, the text isn't there today because I couldn't find their actual logos. I could only find the pictures of the things. So, yeah, that, that's, that's how it's going. Okay, but the, those are the two teams that we're playing. And, uh, yeah, so it was between the Warren Park Whale Lords and the Toronto Star Raptors. And it was the part in the game where, let me just find it. Uh, since, okay, since there wasn't, uh, since there didn't get, um, what's called? Uh, it was team builder, but you guys will be seeing it show up on your screen over everything. Uh, so it was the part in the game with Roserade. Uh, so you guys watch, or listen. Rosary did end up getting off three sleep powders, one of them being very essential. Uh, if you see Scarf Schiller, which Bastion was running, uh, pretty much destroys my entire game with Fire Blast. Uh, Blaziken can take one, but it can't Oko Chandelier, and Zapdos can take one, but it can't Oko Chandelier. So uh, the top or the play for this part was uh, the Rosary using sleep powder as the Chandelier switches in. And uh, then being able to double out into the Mammo and uh, earthquaking and killing the Chandelier. So it was just a very good play on the, uh, what's it called? On the part of the Well Lords, who is just so happens to be coached by me. Don't worry, not, not all of these plays are like plays from me. Uh, but yeah, so that was uh, because it pivoted the game and made it to uh, Mammo take out one of the. A horrible threat for uh, Chris's team, and especially that's what has earned uh, its position in this top. Now, could this like what? <laughs> this is a train wreck. Okay, guys, sorry for that uh, little like weird pause for a second there. My computer was just not working. Uh, but the fourth top play from week one comes from a game between the Warsaw Weavile and uh, the Durham Grambles. And it was uh, a play by the Durham Grambles, pretty, or sorry, a play by the Warsaw Weevil, Weavile pretty early in the match that helped them avoid getting destroyed by Manaphy in the early parts of the match. So, uh, let's just start watching it. So... Uh, at the beginning, uh, the Manaphy is going to come in on the sleeping Gliscor. And as Gliscor swaps out to Vaporeon, predicting the Skull, Manaphy is going to get up a Tail Glow, putting the Grambles in an amazing place to sweep. But Vaporeon isn't going to go down that easily. As the Manaphy hits the Vaporeon with an Energy Ball for big damage, the Vaporeon is going to use Yawn on the Manaphy, ending its chances of sweeping, because it will have to switch out or go to sleep next turn. And of course, it does go to sleep just because it doesn't want to, um, just because it doesn't want to sleep and lose its mana feed. So that was the fourth top play for this week, and yeah. So this next play here, uh, to win the number three spot, is a play that Max, uh, the Jamaican Smoking Weedles, uh, performed against Boomer, who, uh, still doesn't have his team name, but he's working on it. Uh, so yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, it's Max made a good play on Boomer, so, um, this pretty, this kind of won the game for Max, this play that I'm about to show you guys, so, uh, let me get into the play. So, uh, Max, okay, yeah, and this is where the hack start to get, what the heck, <laughs> like, don't judge me, this is, I just had this idea, like, this morning, so, I just have to screen record YouTube to get the footage, don't judge me. Uh, so Max is going to be in on a scissor 
squirrel punch the volcano and he's gonna which helps with so much this is kind of a lucky play on max he's gonna miss the steam eruption so there's hacks and hacks and oh my god it hit that second bullet punch before dying to the bird because that second bullet punch put max or put the volcano in range of a choice specs air slash from Zatu, and also Zatu was just enough specs to be able to live a steam eruption from the volcano. So that second bull punch that that scissor hit because of the missed steam eruption pretty much won the game for Ma, allowing Zatu to be able to take it out. And then uh, that or er, volcano missing that steam eruption on Zatu definitely did not help. Uh, and then Zatu's just gonna be able to stay in on the um, uh, the. Lilligan, uh, bounce back the sleep power and knock it out with the choice specs air slash to end off this match and earn it to the third spot on the top plays. So that is a uh, air slash Zatu combined with the lucky scissor has made it to number three on week one's top plays. Uh, so this next play comes from the match between, or er, this is the second play from the match between the Durham Granbulls and the Warsaw Weavile, earning the number two spot is, of course, Mace. Uh, a big bronze cut on the Hidden Power Ice from the Raikou with the Volt Switch button and get it right to Manaphy, as Manaphy is going to be able to avoid the incoming Toxic from the Bronzong. Now knowing that the Bronzong is probably going to want a Toxic again, there's nothing really wants to switch out, he is going to set up a Tail Glow with his Manaphy, and pretty much very nicely. Uh, so yeah, now that he has a Tail Glow up, Manaphy is pretty much free to switch with the coverage it had Surf. Pretty, I'm pretty sure it had Scald, it had Energy Ball, and uh, those three covered moves combined with the glow pretty much a lot to get through. To be honest, he was getting a lucky flinch from the uh, Dark Pulse from the Greninja, and being able to just very slightly outlive the Toxic Image, and being able to live the all of those played a part in uh, Manaphy being able to see and pretty much giving a cam uh, number one for a five. We will take over to Manaphy has a one and the third spot on this list. Third spot on this top plays list for week one. And the top play of the week one comes from the match between the Toronto Star Raptors and the Warren Park Whale Lords. And if you hadn't already guessed it, it is none other than the amazing Mega the Tom Pascal Sweep. I'm sick. <laughs> it comes from nothing other than the amazing Scizor Sweep. Or Mega Pins Sweep. I don't know why I always say it. Uh, with all the covered moves to be able to avoid everything. Uh, Mega Pinsir was able to just screw Sebastian's team, and it comes with a little backstory. So, um, I had my Roserade on, what's it called? I had my Roserade in on, um, oh, what did, uh, I had my Roserade in on Crocodile, and I looked at the calcs, uh, if he was banded Crocodile, uh, he had Roserade had taken a tiny bit of damage. I was at, I'm pretty sure I was at like 90%. If he was Scarfed Crocodile, a Earthquake would have done like 70 something percent. If he was Banded, it would have done 91%. Okay, so I looked at the calcs. I said, I don't really need Roserade. Let's test it. He clicked EQ without a crit. It killed me, which meant he had to be Banded. So that allowed to get into my Mega Pinsir for free, and because he was banded, locked into Earthquake, he had to switch out so I could Mega Evolve and hit the Swords Dance button, and, uh, I'm pretty sure he went out into, he went out into something, and, um, he swapped back into Crocodile to get the Intimidate so I would only be at minus one attack, and predicting that, I went for another Swords Dance, so I got up to plus three with my Mega Pinsir, and then from there, it was just slaughtering time with Fant, 
X Scissor and Brick Break, those three coverage moves, pretty much ripped through everything on his team, as well as Chandler was already dead, which helped out tremendously. So, uh, thank you all for watching the top plays of week one in the PSN. Uh, if you enjoyed, uh, do not forget to like, comment, or subscribe, and uh, tell me what you think some of the top plays should have been, if you agree, if you would have changed it around, leave uh, your comment in the comment section below, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.